it's kind of funny when you hear the term skateboard. And but we're going to talk about a company called Cattle, which is C A T L, which probably stands for a really long Chinese name, but I don't. We're just going to call it Cattle. They're making what they call a skateboard, and I, I've seen this concept a little bit before. But this is going to be a really innovative in the way that EVs are mass produced, and this is a changing in production of uh, automobiles. So this is essentially the battery pack sitting with the chassis with the wheels and they will manu they're beginning manufacturing of this and they're shipping it out to EV makers the the idea here is that it can speed up not just manufacturing time for these folks it also speeds up development time their time that it takes to bring a new EV design to market yeah, it's it's can be great for the industry because it goes goes back to the start of the automotive industry of streamlining and factory lines and making consistent parts and making consistent elements of it and it's it becomes plug and play. And I mean this is one of the main this is the main driver. This is your fuel source that's that's going to these vehicles. So opening this up really should speed up some of those processes. Now it's you get in that argument, like, are we putting all of our eggs in one basket? Um, so if, if this is a flawed design or, you know, it, it won't spur innovation to continue um, from others if, if, if the industry starts to, starts to standardize on this. But on the same hand, it's, I love it because it's approaching the problem differently. You know, it's saying, does, does a, an electric vehicle have to look like a combustion engine vehicle? And the answer is No. Um, it can it can look different. We can design it different. We can build it from the ground up a little bit differently. So it's it's a neat idea. From a from a safety perspective, the skateboard can absorb up to eighty five percent of impact energy, reducing the impact on vehicle safety caused by styling. That's uh, pretty big for that chassis to just be able to absorb energy. And in prototypes, they've been able to get it up to a thousand kilometer battery. So that'd be 625 miles. That's a heck of a range. Yeah, that, that's a big range. They're developing an 800 volt electric drive system, energy efficiency as high as 91.7%. Now, one of the things when we talk about the difference between battery powered or electric vehicles and gas is the current EVs out on the road are about 80% efficient, but gas is something like 21% efficient. While it does have great energy density per gallon, isn't burned efficiently. We, we see on the skateboard design that there's other things that you normally see when you're looking underneath the car. You just don't have those. Exactly. That's, that's the first thing that came to my mind. You have this vision of, all right, what's, what's underneath the car? And you, know, you stick your head and there's pipes and there's tubes and there's springs and there's rotors and there's all of these other things. But that, if you can put it all in one neat little package and self-contain all of that and build your efficiencies. That's an interesting path forward. Now, we've talked before about like the Tesla Gigapress and how they're doing this single casting for the whole underbody of the car, which you haven't been able to do gas cars. But this, this is just, they're, they're simplifying car manufacturing. They're reducing the cost of car manufacturing. Cars are going to actually get cheaper. You think about the average cost of driving a car here in the United States, you're lucky if you can operate a car, uh, even on, the, on a cheap car, for less than about $700 a month when you factor in financing, gas, insurance, things like that. You're lucky if you can operate a car. That, that's a pretty big expense for people. When you think about it, you're, you're spending over $20 a day just to have a method to get around instead of walking. They're coming up with ways to make it so that you're going to save a couple hundred bucks on fuel. You're going to save on the cost of the vehicle itself. So you're going to cut that down. They're going to make the vehicle safer. So eventually it's going to cut down on insurance costs. It's really quite innovative. It's, it's incredible um, what they're doing. And you, you talk maintenance costs. This has always been one of those for EVs forever. Like, hey, you have reduced maintenance costs and see it. But you can see something like this. And again, think about the guts of your existing car and all the belts and your transmission and things that are just so dang complicated. And then there's this, there's four moving parts. You got four tires. That's, that's what moves. Well, you know, you see people that really like old cars, like cars from the seventies, eighties, sixties. And one of the things they like about them is they don't have a computer in them, right? When the gas cars were simpler, now all of the gas cars are so complex and with the computer and everything, 
And while this is going to be a computerized car, it's taking away so much of that stuff that can break. So that, that's a really interesting thought of like the, the vehicles we have today are this weird combination of technology and electronics and mechanical moving parts. And a design like this is completely flipping it from, hey, I'm just mechanical to now, now I'm just electric. So you don't have this weird interface between the two systems. You know, it, it's an exciting thing. And I think it's hard for a lot of people to really grasp where that's going to lead. You know, you're going to see this eventually. It's not just going to be the Chinese car companies. You know, I watched some little clip of Musk being interviewed and he was saying, if you really want to talk the big leagues in automotive right now, it's China. China is not allowed to compete in the United States right now, but they're dominating the world market. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.